The rodeo in Childersburg that was held this past weekend not only had all that you would expect like horses, bulls, cowboys, but what have you expected this? A fully customized fire truck. Now this fire truck no longer responds to emergencies unless hunger is your emergency. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, Kenny come up with this idea of calling me one day and said, uh, I got an idea, so you think it works? We carried it to my shop and worked on it 14 months. Yeah, he gets the rushing left. <laughs> he designed 99.9% of it. Done a good job, I think. Yeah. Right here, it's all propane. Yeah. It's all self-contained. Yeah. We've got the two TVs. You know the pump set right here. propane tanks, one for the cooker, one for the generator, and the spare. Fresh water to tank over here, put it in here. All your dump systems. All your grease needs to go inside of here. There. If you want to walk up here, I'll show you the cooker. Got the grinder going. Warmer's here. Got the warmer down here. Got the sink over here with the hot, on demand hot water. A little dirty. And behind you is a smoker. It's a hundred cost and bucks at one time. 2,400 sandwiches. If we want to, before we got chicken and everything else. Last night today. <laughs> yeah, we put 2400. Oh. This is all Kenny's brainchild right here. He owns it. We moved it to my shop. How much did this uh, cost to uh, fix? About 160000 Did you take it all over the country? Oh, yeah. Yep, we're going to start out getting our Alabama Auburn game. We're going to do. Uh, do some other stuff next year. Where'd the truck originally come from? Uh, it came from uh, Chiraw, South Carolina. Indian Reservation. Over $160,000 was invested into this very unique fire truck barbecue smoker. And trust me, the barbecue was awesome. Being a volunteer firefighter, this truck would be really nice on the scene of a house fire. If you're going to be attending any college football games this fall, chances are you'll see this customized fire truck at Alabama and Auburn football games. Keep watching Daybreak as we have even more to show you from this past weekend's rodeo. Reporting for Daybreak, I'm Chris Davis.